the internet has once again gone crazy for a map. So let's analyze it and see what all the fuss is about. Hello everyone, I'm Matt Mitrovich, the alternate historian. And yes, today we are covering a meme map, but so what? Meme maps are some of the most popular videos on this channel. And if you don't like meme maps, well, you've probably already stopped watching. So for the rest of us, let's have some fun. Our story begins when NBC sports reporter Craig Calcaterra found a map created by his 16-year-old daughter, an aspiring alternate cartographer named Anna. Craig shared the map on Twitter on February 12, 2020, where it quickly went viral, as people expressed confusion and outrage at the changes to the Americas. I couldn't even escape it if I wanted to, as several of you tweeted it at me, hence why I'm analyzing it now. Let's begin with the question on a lot of people's minds. Why make this? And when asked this question by Mashable, Craig said Anna was, and I quote, inspired by seeing people not from the U.S. trying to label maps of states and failing miserably. Per Andy Moser at Mashable, this could be a reference to this map that went viral a week before Anna's map went up. Here we see a German attempt to name all the 50 American states, and of course, fail miserably. It's good to know Americans aren't the only ones bad at geography. Anywho, let's talk about the changes. First up, we can see the panhandles of Texas and Idaho extended to the Arctic Circle, which I guess would split Canada into three separate countries. Meanwhile, Florida's panhandle also stretches across most of the southern coast and the American-Mexican border. Alaska and Wyoming have also disappeared, with the later being swallowed up by Montana. Per Craig on Twitter, Anna has a notable disrespect for Wyoming, asking often if the state is even real. When asked about it by CNN, Anna is quoted as saying, Nothing against Wyoming, it just doesn't exist. Having out a map is like putting Hogwarts or something on it. Apparently this change upset at least one Wyoming news site. Well, an alleged Wyoming news site. No confirmation yet if it's real either. Meanwhile, New Hampshire and Vermont have been combined into New Hampshire, while what's left of North and South Dakota have been combined into West Dakota, with Minnesota being renamed East Dakota. There is even a second Ohio, aka Ohio 2, although I would have also accepted Ohio 2 Electric Boogaloo, smack dab in the four corners, which per Anna is a cutout that was just meant to frustrate people. When asked about this by CNN, Anna said, does anyone really want to know more about Ohio 2? Nobody even wants to hear about Ohio 1. This part of the map did seem to upset the internet the most. But then again, Ohio does upset the world every four years, so I guess that's a normal reaction to seeing there's a second one. Although no word yet in what the Navajo Nation has to say about white people stealing their land to build a second Ohio. Anywho, then there is the Peace de Resistance, Chile, which in our timeline already has one of the longest coastlines in the world, now extends all along the entire Pacific coast and is now called Long Chile, which is an apt description. Nevertheless, as silly as Long Chile is, Chile has actually gotten longer throughout history. Chile at its independence in 1818 was a lot smaller than it is today. Through a policy of militarization and expansion, Chile trains to its current size. Heck, Bolivia doesn't even have a coast today because of Chile. Who knows, perhaps in an alternate timeline, Chile might have kept driving north, grabbing more of the coast by... Nah, forget it. Nothing ever happens in South America anyway. Finally, some of the changes can only be seen by reading the patch notes, such as Virginia being renamed East Virginia. You also get a bit of a story, such as Florida seceding from the U.S. after a second American Civil War, and Long Chile being created after Chilean American War, which was also apparently the catalyst for World War III. Ah, now it makes sense. Moving right along. On its face, this is a pretty silly map, so why do people seem to care? Well, on one hand, it's a very well done silly map. There may, however, be a more important reason for why this map fascinated the internet. Per this text exchange between Craig and Anna, we see that maybe Anna wants us to question how our own borders are made, just as much as we question her changes. Like, why is there more than one rectangular American state? Do panhandles make sense? Should the west coast of the Americas be under control of one state? Do our borders make sense just because they exist? As Harry Turodove once pointed out, fiction has to be plausible. All history has to do is happen. Thus, as silly as Anna's borders look, who's to say if history played out differently, they would have looked something like what Anna created. In fact, maybe our borders shouldn't have happened. Plenty of maps have been created in the past with the creators trying to redraw borders to make them more, for lack of a better term, equitable. And that can upset people when told their home causes more problems than they are worth in the eyes of the alternate cartographer. Thus, Anna was able to hit a nerve that has been hit one too many times already. People don't like seeing the borders of their homes be redrawn or erased by an outsider. Or maybe she's just trolling us and we all need to relax. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one. From my personal perspective, this reminds me a lot like an alternate historian's first attempt at changing history. It's nonsensical and implausible, but you can tell Anna was having fun. 
Still, I hope Anna and other young alternate cartographers like her continue to improve their skills and we get to see more maps from them in the future. I know a lot of alternate cartographers would be happy to welcome her into their ranks. Well, that is what to say on the subject. If you enjoy what I do, please like, comment, share, subscribe, or support me on Patreon. I'm Matt Mitrovich, The Alternate Story. Bye. Then again. Oh, God.